The mercy of God brings us from, the, from death to life and we are saved. La miséricorde de Dieu nous amène de la mort à la vie et nous sommes ainsi sauvés. By grace you are saved. C'est par la grâce que vous êtes sauvés. From death to life. De la mort à la vie. And we are saved. Et nous sommes sauvés. By the mercy and the grace of God. Par la miséricorde et par la grâce de Dieu. What is revival? Revival is a work of God that gives life to the dead and gives light to the sleepers. That is the new building block laid by Brother Tiodo in this eighth night as we journey in the revivals and promises of revival in the Bible. From the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verses 1 to 5, and Ephesians, chapter 5, verses 8 to 20, He drew the difference between those who are dead and need life and those who are sleeping in darkness and need light. The first passage describes people dead in their sins, in their transgressions, dead in rebellion, dead in lust, dead in following the prince of this world. Such, the leader commented, need life. They need salvation so that they can have eternal life. As concerns the second passage, we see again a life of darkness, a life of secrets, shame, disobedience, and barrenness, a life that resembles those who have not believed. However, the leader noted, such people do not need God's mercy to have life. They need to wake up. Such people that are sleeping and it looks like they are dead need to wake and receive the light of God. Those who are revived live a life of wisdom, that is, knowing what to do with your life at any given moment, a life that uses time well, a life that is full of the Holy Spirit, instead of being carried away by pleasures of life, like food, parties, sex, marriage, just to name a few. But Atiodo further commented that, since the life of those that need to be revived, and the life of those who are dead look alike, we don't know what each one needs. So we just need God to give life to the dead and light to the sleeper. At this point, he led the community to cry out to God to send the revival that will give life to the dead and light to those who are sleeping in darkness. He then gave the opportunity to all who wanted to cry out to God to have mercy on them for their condition. We want to give an opportunity for some people who, who want to pray. Nous voulons donner l'opportunité à certaines personnes qui voudraient prier to end their darkness. ou mettre fin à leur vie de ténèbres. To end their shame. Pour mettre fin à leur vie de honte. To end the secrets that they, are, that they have kept until they are, they, are, they are completely, completely, completely destroyed inside. Pour mettre fin aux secrets qu'ils ont tellement gardés qu'ils sont complètement détruits à l'intérieur.